So, are you sure you don't want to come with us to Raiders? Oh, no. That movie has melting faces. It reminds me too much of the time I dropped that vial of flesh-eating bacteria into the rhesus monkey lab. <laughs> Besides, Penny and I are having a girls' night tonight. Girls' night? What does that entail? Well, you know, girls get together, hang out, share girl talk. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe you can join us. I'll ask Penny. No need. Penny and I are very close. You are? Yes. In fact, our menses are synchronized. <laughs> Penny, Bernadette tells me you're planning a girls' night. Yeah? I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, uh, it, was, it was just gonna be me and Bernadette. Besides, I thought you were going to the movies with Sheldon and the guys. Yes, but they're not girls. I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, I got that. <laughs> What's the dress code? Uh, just wear something comfortable. All right. I'll have to go shopping. <laughs> so anyway, to make a long story short, Turns out I have an unusually firm cervix. You know, Amy, when we say girl talk, it doesn't just have to be about our lady parts. Shame, because I have a real zinger about my tilted uterus. Penny, <laughs> your nails look great. Oh, thanks. I found this place in Alhambra. It's in a woman's basement. I I think it's a front for human trafficking, but they do a really good job. A colleague of mine did her graduate thesis on the fungus that grows on improperly sterilized manicure implements. <laughs> well, don't tell me that's not girl talk. So where should we go tonight? A bar, a club, a movie? Or we could just stay here. Yes, and continue to bond. I have a feeling that after tonight, one of you will become my best friend forever. Or BFF, if you prefer. <laughs> Which I don't. All right, time to open bachelor number two. <laughs> Gee, I don't know if I should drink more. I have to drive home, and I've got enough trouble seeing over the dashboard as it is. <laughs> That's OK. You can just sleep here. Oh, good, a slumber party. We'll do makeovers, initiate phony phone calls, and have spirited pillow fights in our frilly nighties. <laughs> oh, gosh, Amy, I don't know if I would call this an actual slumber party. Oh, that's disappointing. I've always wanted to be invited to a slumber party. You never were? Not even when you were a kid? Well, there was the time I had my tonsils out and I shared a room with a little Vietnamese girl. <laughs> she didn't make it through the night, but up till then it was kind of fun. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're having a slumber party. Oh! <laughs> Pillow fight! <laughs> the mystery that all started with a big bang.